Centennial Airport in South Metro are the first ones in the state of Colorado to switch to the F3 or flooring free foam. Uh, the big deal with this foam is that it's flooring free and so it's much better for the environment and the firefighters that use it. And we're the first airport in the state of Colorado to uh, implement it. Excited to, to be the first in the state of Colorado to, to move to it. Uh, we, we respond to incidents that are both on and off the airport. And so we felt it was important that anytime we're running to an incident that involves an aircraft, we have the ability to uh, not only mitigate that problem with the plane, but the product that we're using is to be environmentally friendly. So we're not having to mitigate it later or to have some type of an issue down the road that is a, an issue for a community or the drinking water or anything else. So we felt it was important that we do it sooner than later. Last year, we were the busiest general aviation airport in the world. And so it's important that we lead the way and set the example for all the other airports in the country. And so we wanted to be one of the first ones out of the gate with this new type of foam. There are certain nuances with the foam now that that uh, we're having to learn and, and uh, a technique that, that works with the foam. Uh, since it's, uh, it doesn't have uh, certain proteins and makeups within the foam, we're having to apply it more often than uh, we would with an AFFF uh, foam or a foam that had a, a, a PFAS protein in it. Uh, the blanket is, is no different than what we had before. It's just now we have to, to tend to it or mend the blanket to make sure that we don't have any holes or spots within the blanket that uh, could allow for burn through or burn back. And that's something that, that we do with training and, and we've trained uh, a bunch with the new foam and, and feel very comfortable using it uh, moving forward on any type of an incident uh, involving an aircraft or, or uh, uh, really any type of a, a high octane uh, a fuel. Environmentally friendly free uh, foam that, that we're gonna be using. So if we apply it uh, in some type of an incident, whether there's a life safety component or we've got a a large fuel spill that we need to contain prior to putting our firefighters in to mitigate the issue. Uh, we're not worried about the, the long lasting effects of applying that foam, whereas the foam that we had prior, uh, we were very cautious when we applied it. In 2023, Centennial Airport had 362,407 operations and we went the entire year without having to dispense foam. We have Red 1, uh, Red 2, and Red 3. Uh, Red 1 and Red 2 are both 2023 Oshkosh Striker 1500s that uh, we placed in service um, about a year ago. And then we have uh, Red 3, which is a 2015 um, Stinger. All three provide new F3 foam, uh, Purple K, and water. We have 1,500 gallons of water on Red 1 and 2, and that uh, will supply 210 gallons of foam concentrate. So we can get, really, uh, we can go through three full tanks of water uh, before we ex exhaust all of our foam concentrate uh, on, a, on an airfield. And that's a lot, that's a lot of foam being made. Um, but with this new foam, we do need to apply it more often. So having the, the, the increased abilities of our vehicles and the apparatus and, and knowing that it's gonna flow foam uh, and or Purple K and water is a tremendous help. Hopefully we never have to use our apparatus or this new foam, uh, but it's gonna be ready and available if we do have an incident on the airport. When a, when a call drops and we need to respond for an aircraft incident, our guys are, and gals are gonna be there and uh, we'll do a fantastic job.